Okay, I am trying to regulate my watch and uh, finally got around to opening up and trying this time grapher. And if I have it set right, um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not picking up my voice. But it uh, looks like the beat error is okay. I was worried that it might be off. 52 degrees I think is what's normal for a 7S 36 or most Seiko movements. The amplitude is high, uh, but the rate is definitely high. I did bump it up and that probably is about right because I've been gaining quite a bit today while I was just left it there. Um, so I'm going to try to adjust it and we'll see what happens. Okay, I went in and adjusted the regulator. I gave it a little extra manual wind just to make sure it's the spring is tightened. Still at plus 12, let's see what happens. I thought I pushed it back too much, but according to this, it seems like it's still gaining. We'll see, we'll give it a moment to level out. For a little bit, came back. Looks like it's doing about plus seven, which is better. But let's get that down a little bit more. Plus six. I'm gonna come back in the in just a few, just to double check. It's doing down to plus five. See, it's been running for about maybe almost 10 minutes since I last adjusted it. Um, we'll see. I'm going to come back to this in a moment. Probably a good 15, maybe almost 20 minutes. It's kind of varying. Green. It's jumped up to 10 now, maybe. It's speaking my voice, but it's usually between 8. Sometimes it dips down to 5. So I think I could push it a little bit more. So we'll see how it goes. I swear I did not even touch it that much, but it seemed to have made a huge difference here. <laughs> so uh, let me try messing with this again. Okay. <clears throat> I pushed it to the plus a bit more and admittedly I have been messing around with the second little lever thing I guess directly underneath the regulator which I believe supposedly controls the beat error and so you can see now it's at 0.8 so uh, maybe I should try nudging it just ever so slightly touch it slightly back to the other way and um, get it back to closer to zero right and uh, at least it's evening out the um, oh, seven now minus three. Let's see what happens. Back to point eight. Maybe I should just touch it back, the beat error, a little lever back the other direction, so it's at least it's closer to being point seven. And um, you just ever so slightly touch the regulator too to the plus to just push it slightly into the more positive side. Because still it's hanging like minus two ish, minus five, somewhere around there. Let's see what happens. So I nudged the, I can only call it the beat error lever. Uh, so it's looks like it's back to 0.7. At least, and I did ever so slightly touch the regulator, and maybe didn't do much. It's 
but it's holding a better level now. Slightly, still dipping into minus four a bit. sure how long we need to do to make sure it's kind of in a decent level where it's holding. But I feel compelled to just push it a little bit more and see what we can do. Okay, I've been mucking around and so far I got this back on track. <laughs> it really threw off the beat error and the rate. But Looking pretty solid right now. 0.5, I guess it's better than 0.7. And it's holding between, let's see, this is plus one now. It was zero for quite a bit. It dropped down to minus one, minus two. Wait, it's going out to plus three. Let's see how it goes. I should probably let this run. It's stabilized since I've been messing around with it. But it's pretty decent levels from what I can tell. From what little knowledge I have. I don't know if I can correct the beat error a little bit more. Let me try it. Let me see what happens when I I'm gonna go walk the dog. Probably take another 15 minutes and I'll come back and I'll just take a look and see where it's at. And if it's still kind of zero plus one-ish or so, I think that'll be okay. Even if it's plus three, like it's showing. Um, Tom's amplitude is good, I think. Which I think I think that is. I, don't know, I, I gotta check the uh, I gotta reference something for that. The beat error isn't too far bad, but I wonder if I can get it down just a little bit more, like 0.3 or 0.2 even. Ooh, dangerous. Um, let me see. I'll, I'll come back in about 10 or 15 minutes after I walk my dog and I take a look at the readings again. See what it where it's. Hopefully, it's better stabilized at. All right. Okay. Okay. Left this probably for at least a good 15 minutes, almost 20. And um, got back, I saw that it was plus zeros, plus ones, plus twos. It's turned up to plus three sometimes. But I um, guess overall, it's better than it was. It was, I just fast forward to or reverse back to where it was. And all the crazy numbers I got, it was at least like 20 something, or is it under over 10 seconds? I think it was in the 20s. And uh, the beat error is better. It's gone down from 0 0.7 to 0 0.5. Um, I might be able to tweak that. But, you know, plus two, plus three a day, that's pretty respectable. I mean, and uh, keep in mind, this watch is. Not the newest, you know, it's, God, I'm not sure how old it is. Um, this SNZG 13, it's, it's uh, yeah, who knows how long it's been sitting on the shelf, wherever, you know. So we'll see how running it for a more substantial amount of time uh, will do. Loosen up or get the oils going again or 
whatnot, and all these numbers may change or something too. So, um, I gotta get, I thought there was something missing here, like there should be plastic, but according to the picture, I guess it isn't. Um, let's see here. See, it's pretty thin. I don't know. Yeah, except it's black there. But uh, it might be making a little bit of scratches on the side. I mean, I plan to brush the side of this case anyways. So not a big deal, but I should probably put some sort of padding on the inside there. And see how that goes, you know, to protect it from, at least on the left side. Um, but let me... Uh, maybe my voice, sometimes it picks it up and throws things off. But yeah, I think overall between zero and plus, I guess up to about plus three. But a lot of it is plus ones or plus twos. That's decent numbers here. Of course, the ultimate test is will be when I wear it, and then I probably may need to adjust accordingly because that does throw things off a little bit. Let's see, that's just a plus four. Don't know why. Maybe there's some irregularities inside. Uh, you know, uh, things aren't lubricated evenly. But, you know, it's still respectable compared to where it was. So, um, yep. Uh, let me show you something. Okay, before I sign out here. So what I did was... Just so you know... Right here is, this one is one that you normally would regulate. This guy right here, this is like a lever that's I guess on the top most one and there's this one here that sits below it. This is the one you would go push back and forth plus or minus. You see a little marking right there um, to gauge, you know, uh, make it fast or slow it down depending on what your needs are. And this guy right here is the, uh, controls the beat error. Uh, generally, you don't want to fuck with this if you don't know what you're doing, especially if you don't have a time grapher, because um, unlike the regulator, where you can probably, what, what I've been doing for a while, is just timing it and coming back and checking to see how the seconds have advanced or how much it's deviated. Um, that's easy to see, but beat error, you won't know if it's going, how erratic it is, and which, by pushing this one way or the other, how it's affecting the beat error. Is it going, you know, gaining or, or lessening, you know, plus or minus? Uh, that will be very hard to gauge visually. Uh, so you do need a time graph like I have to see what's going on, because otherwise I would never dare mess with this. Um, but since I have a time graph, I can see what's going on. So, for your reference, I think, I believe, to reduce it, I get it closer to zero, and then push it this direction. So that would be, from this point of view, counterclockwise. Versus, if you go this way, I think that's when it starts to jump up to... Uh, 0.8 or something. Yeah, if, if I'm mis mistaken, I was originally pushing it this way to go, and then it started to gain more, so then I pushed it back the other way. And, um, yeah, anyways, that's what I was messing around with today to get the numbers that I'm getting now. So we'll see how it goes. I was going to try to tweak it a little more, but. I mean, plus zero to plus three, anywhere in between on average. That's pretty pretty reasonably accurate for such a movement. And probably the amount of time I'll be wearing it. And I think the beat error at point, 0 0.5, as far as I can tell, is not bad. I mean, I see people, if you can get point zero, zero, zero point zero would be great. Or even a little bit off like point two, but we'll see how it goes. 
clear it and maybe I'll, I'll mess with it later. But I think the next step now, again, I'm still waiting for my other mod parts. Um, now you can see it did, I think it might have gotten a little scratched right here on there. That's why I got to tape that to protect that other side of the uh, time grapher. So it doesn't, it's just metal and metal. So um going to want to protect that. But I'm going to knock out all this brushing anyway. So I'm going to take a scotch bright pad and uh, brush it. I'm, I'm probably going to take out the movement too and let it run down so I can take off the hands and stuff and redo the dial when I need to, when I get the parts. So I'll set that aside. Um, and I'll brush this side of it. I probably am not going to bother getting into there. It's going to be hard to get into the, the corners with the scotch pipe pad, so I'm not going to bother with this. Fairly easy to just whoosh, brush it down here, and once this crown movement's out and the crown's out, I can do the same on this side. And then, depending on when I get the parts, um, the movement will be out. I can start working on the dial and the hands and uh, on that side and then with the case and even with the bracelet uh, once I get the blackening chemical whatever that is the patina solution uh, we'll see how that goes um, try on the bracelet first looks good I feel I got a control for it then I go into the case I want to avoid moving, removing the crystal and everything if possible. Uh, maybe I can spray it on, brush, you know, wipe it off. It may not affect this at all. I don't think there's any AR coating or anything on this, anyways. It's hard licks. So maybe I just brush it and then you know, wipe it off. And if that's if that's what it looks like you need to do, and the same with the back, just lock it down, brush it, and as long as it doesn't go through the seals, it should be fine. Um, may want to tape up or at least maybe find something to fill into that hole so when I do do it, it doesn't run into the inside of the case. But there's not going to even going to be a movement inside, so I don't think it's going to matter when I do that. But thanks for watching. Um, hope that this helped um, educate you, if not uh, entertain. I'll catch you in the next. Thanks. Bye.